여러분 안녕하세요. 자, 토크TV입니다. 많이 내보냈는데요. 그 안에 보면 공간은 절차 여섯 번을 반복해서 해야 된다. 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다. 쉐도잉을 해야 된다. 자, 어떻게 하는 건지 오늘 한번 제가 보여드리겠습니다. 먼저 여기 보시다시피 소개 문이 나오죠. 이 소개 글이 끝난 다음에 다섯 번을 하고 마지막에 한 번을 풀로 해주는 거예요. 한 장을. 그러면 이제 여섯 번이 되는 건데요. 다섯 번을 듣고 있습니다. 반복을 하면 여러분 영어 공부 엄청 가 있습니다. 자그 다음 단계로 그 단계에 보면 은 영어 공부 절차 했죠. 방법은 똑같아요. 그러나 이거를 이미 마쳤기 때문에 그 다음부터는 쉐도잉 1년을 합니다. 자 쉐도잉 절차도 똑같아요. 단 다른 부분이 뭐냐 이걸 따라서 하는 거죠. 자, 또 Power of Post Christ Jesus and the Faithful in the Christ Jesus Power of Post Christ Jesus by the will of God the saint who are the apostles and are faithful in Christ Jesus 두 번째죠. Power of Post of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in a position and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 세 번째 있죠. How long a portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in a position and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 네 번째 있나요? 자, 네 번째 있죠. How long a portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in a position and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 다섯 번 했어요. 이렇게 이 절이 22절까지 돼 있다면 22절을 마치고 마지막 한 번을 풀로 해줍니다. 1년 가를 6개 를 반복 듣기를 마친 이후에 1년을 쉐도잉을 하면 번호를 들음과 동시에 까불까불까불까불 하면서 동시에 해주는 거예요. 그러니까 통역 방식이죠. 1년을 하면 여러분 영어로 걱정 안 하셔도 됩니다. 여러분 영어 완성이 그렇게 쉬운 일은 아닙니다만 이런 방법을 하면 영어는 완성됩니다. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about they will be held responsible. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt? If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt? If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt? If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, If they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt? If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, 
but then they come to realize their guilt? Or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? Or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt? When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. 
Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely. They are to bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. And is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way, and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way. And make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way, and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way, and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way, and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it, because it is a sin offering. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest, who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest, who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion, and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest, 
who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest, who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest, who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest, as in the case of the grain offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest, as in the case of the grain offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest, as in the case of the grain offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest, as in the case of the grain offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest, as in the case of the grain offering. The Lord said to Moses, When any 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 when anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. When anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. When anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. When anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. When anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. 
they must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. They are to bring to the priest, as a guilt offering, a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. They are to bring to the priest, as a guilt offering, a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. They are to bring to the priest, as a guilt offering, a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. They are to bring to the priest, as a guilt offering, a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. They are to bring to the priest, as a guilt offering, a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord. Leviticus 5 If anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwittingly touch anything ceremonially unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean animal, wild or domestic, or of any unclean creature that moves along the ground, and they are unaware that they have become unclean, but then they come to realize their guilt, or if they touch human uncleanness, anything that would make them unclean, even though they are unaware of it, but then they learn of it and realize their guilt, or if anyone thoughtlessly takes an oath to do anything, whether good or evil, in any matter, one might carelessly swear about, even though they are unaware of it. But then they learn of it and realize their guilt. When anyone becomes aware that they are guilty in any of these matters, they must confess in what way they have sinned. As a penalty for the sin they have committed, they must bring to the Lord a female lamb or goat from the flock as a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for them for their sin. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. They are to bring them to the priest, who shall first offer the one for the sin offering. He is to wring its head from its neck, not dividing it completely, and is to splash some of the blood of the sin offering against the side of the altar. The rest of the blood must be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. The priest shall then offer the other as a burnt offering in the prescribed way, 
and make atonement for them for the sin they have committed, and they will be forgiven. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. They must not put olive oil or incense on it because it is a sin offering. They are to bring it to the priest who shall take a handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on top of the food offerings presented to the Lord. It is a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for any of these sins they have committed and they will be forgiven. The rest of the offering will belong to the priest as in the case of the grain offering. The Lord said to Moses, when anyone is unfaithful to the Lord by sinning unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, they are to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. They must make restitution for what they have failed to do in regard to the holy things, pay an additional penalty of a fifth of its value, and give it all to the priest. The priest will make atonement for them, with the ram as a guilt offering, and they will be forgiven. If anyone sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though they do not know it, they are guilty and will be held responsible. They are to bring to the priest as a guilt offering a ram from the flock, one without defect and of the proper value. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them for the wrong they have committed unintentionally, and they will be forgiven. It is a guilt offering. They have been guilty of wrongdoing against the Lord.